Welcome back. Let us now see how to solve question number 13 in the Galatial Exam Simulation for Certified Kubernetes Application Developer. Question number 13. So we have to connect to this host first. Let me exit the current session and connect to CK80-9043 host. And the question says, Team MoonPy, which has the namespace Moon, needs more storage. Create a new persistent volume claim named moon-pvc-126 in the namespace. This claim should use a new storage class uh, moon-retain with the provisioner set to moon-retainer and the reclaim policy set to retain. The claim should request a storage of three GB bytes and access mode of read write ones and should use the new storage class. The provisioner moon hyphen retainer will be uh, created by another team, so it's expected that the PVC will not boot yet. Confirm this is uh, by writing the log message from the PVC into this file. Right, so the focus is more on storage class um, and the PVC, and there was a mention that it may not work because uh, we are going to use uh, a a non-existent storage class called moon retain uh, which would be the provisioner for this would be worked by another team so it's expected to fail so let's let's focus on the storage class uh, let's grab the storage class manifest from the official Kubernetes documentation so we have this one so um, let's copy this we need the provisioner we need the reclaim policy and we don't need any of those below so let's copy only this section let's call this 13 sc for storage class dot yaml paste it so we don't need the annotations We don't. So the name of the storage class should be moon hyphen retain, and the provisioner should be set to moon hyphen retainer, and the reclaim policy should be set to retain. So this is the storage class definition. Let's create this. Okay. So it is created. Keep it will get storage class. It looks good. Uh, next we have to create a persistent volume claim. So for, for which we'll again head back to our Kubernetes documentation. And search for persistent volume claim. Okay, um, we'll read the access mode. I think uh, we should be good until this point. Let's copy this. Head back to our terminal and create 30-pvc.yaml. Uh, let's give it a name. So it should be named as moon-pvc126. Access mode already looks good. It's read write once. Um, we have to, these are namespaced. Uh, PVCs are namespaced resources. We have to give the namespace as moon. 
access mode looks good uh, there was no mention about the volume mode the resource request should be 3 GB bytes the storage name we should use the new um, storage class that we just created which is the moon retain let's save this and create the resource so now let's check the PVC in the moon namespace so that's created but um, the status as we know is set to uh, pending uh, which is expected because we don't have a storage class uh, which I mean which is defined right let's ins let's inspect um, the PVC further so describe the PVC so the events clearly says that external provisioning um, waiting for a volume to be created either by external provisioner moon retainer or manually by the system administrator if the volume creation is delayed please verify the provisioner is running correctly uh, running and correctly registered so this is the error message that it's failed with let us copy that this bit of information because we need to write uh, the log message into uh, this file simply echo what I've copied and write this to this file let's open the file and it has um, the event that we just saw while describing the PVC so that concludes the question number 13 so don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button if you like this video thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video